If you watched Black Panther and wished Wakanda were a real place, that wish may soon come true. Back in 2018, one of the biggest music icons, Akon, announced his idea to create a futuristic, solar-powered African city called Akon City. Everything you need to know about the project you can find right here in this video. Before we begin, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. There was a time in the early 2000s when you couldn't switch on the radio without hearing Akon's voice. But he doesn't want his music to be the only thing he's known for. And sure enough, you'll rarely if ever hear Akon on the radio. But he is still very much hard at work as a tech entrepreneur in Africa. He founded a solar power company called Akon Lighting Africa, which operates in 18 countries at the moment. He also bought a diamond mine in South Africa and made his own cryptocurrency called Acoin. The cryptocurrency came about when Akon couldn't exchange the Senegal currency for euros in Paris. An employee refused to exchange it, leaving him with a pocket full of money he couldn't spend anywhere. That's what led him to create his own currency, and it will also be the local currency of his city, with the flexibility to use it throughout the continent and beyond. And it is with the same energy and passion for bringing African countries to the world stage that motivated Akon to make a $6 billion futuristic city, the likes of which have only been seen in science fiction movies. Apparently, the fictional country in Marvel's Black Panther is what helped him secure the investment for Akon City. It gave a vision of what futuristic African cities could look like, and this vision was something he had been working on since before the movie came out. If you're enjoying the video so far, go ahead and hit the like button. The city's plot is 2,000 acres on the Senegalese coastline, the Atlantic coastline spanning 330 miles. Senegal is Africa's most stable democracy, and 70% of its 16 million people live in rural areas, while the capital city, Dakar, is home to 3.1 million people. It is a futuristic metropolis full of gleaming skyscrapers with unconventional silhouettes and palm trees. The architecture is an extension of the sea into land, with fluid lines along all the buildings. The residences are luxurious and both visually impactful and practical in the long run. All units will have interactive smart home systems and a range of excellent amenities. The city is divided into districts, and seeing as how tourism is one of Africa's most promising sectors, Akon saw an opportunity to foster growth and increase Africa's participation in the world's economy. The African culture village in Akon City has resorts and spas, chalets, open markets, and restaurants. In addition to that, there is an entertainment district where you will find casinos, resorts, malls, spas, and a multifunctional stadium. Other districts include the entertainment, technology, Cinewood, health and safety, and education district. Cinewood will house the Akon Tower, a 985-foot building, the tallest in Senegal by far. It will also have multiple filming and recording studios. If it works out, this will be one of the biggest full-service production studios on the continent. The Technology District will have tech parks and the latest fitness, wellness, production technologies, research, and development labs, and retail outlets. The Education District has three main buildings that will house some of the world's most prestigious universities, have student housing, and restaurants and retail. It is designed to reflect futuristic learning while accommodating current requirements. The Health and Safety District has an education and research hospital. It is located strategically in the heart of the city. It will encourage innovation in medicine and treatment and be prepared for the following 25 years in healthcare. The city's centerpiece is a 5,000-bed hospital, which will cost $1 billion to build. The hospital and clinics will feature the very best in technology being put into practice in the medical field. Akon hopes that medical education and research programs will be the city's legacy in the future. The district also has an outpatient center, a police station, and a fire station. The city seems to be a hyperdrive version of the Barcelona coastline and the futuristic skylines of Dubai and New York. Hussein Bakri, 
the lead architect on the project and CEO of Dubai's Bakri and Associates, said the city would be built from a mix of traditional construction materials and new materials developed specifically for Akon City. Among those are lightweight steel and glass that generate energy. A transportation system will run both above ground and underwater. This might only be the start of a franchise of Akon cities across the continent. And of course, the official currency to pay for transport, utilities, licenses, and even taxes is the cryptocurrency Acoin. Current research shows that by 2025, about 623 million people in Africa will be mobile phone users. Acoin can be used on any smartphone or dumb phone, and you can convert your unused phone minutes to Acoin or convert it into government-issued currency outside Africa. This isn't the first attempt at a smart city in Africa. African smart cities have long been discussed and planned, especially in the last 10 to 15 years. And needless to say, they don't make it past that stage. Many proposed smart city projects, typically defined by their sustainability and technology, have stopped either due to lack of funding or lack of support. The African Manhattan Project in Johannesburg never took off the ground, and the Silicon Savannah in Kenya is currently struggling because the project ended up costing more than expected. Akon City's development costs could easily double and might take longer than anticipated. But that might not be much of an issue given Akon's backing. One of the key players in this endeavor is John Karas, a former Hollywood producer, co-founder of Acoin, CEO and co-founder of Acon Legacy Ventures. The idea has been in development for years now, but it began to take shape only in 2020. Akon wrote a seven-figure check to the Senegalese government to acquire the land, and before that, there were several discussions and conversations leading up to the purchase. The President and Minister of Tourism in Senegal are the central government entities involved in the project, but more are believed to come aboard later. In addition to that, the city has already been designated a special tax zone by the government, meaning there is a reduction of imports to Akon City, which is a great way to attract investors. The city will also be integrated into the country's tourism vision. Los Angeles firm KE International was awarded the $6 billion construction contract for Akon City, and they helped secure an initial $4 billion from leaders in the healthcare and technology industries. KE International also developed the $2 billion smart city in Kenya, MMTC, which is now 90% complete. So this isn't their first time on a project like this. Akon is a huge name in Africa, despite somewhat fading out in the US music industry. He was born in Senegal before moving to New Jersey at the age of 11. He broke into the industry at the age of 30 and went on to sell 35 million albums worldwide. It's unclear how much wealth he amassed in those years, but he did make it ninth on the Forbes Top 20 Highest Paid Hip Hop Artists in 2011. In 2018, his estimated net worth was $80 million. The construction of Akon City is expected to start early next year, and the first phase is scheduled to finish in three years. That includes roads, residences, hotels, schools, an airstrip, a mall, and a police and fire station. The second phase, expected to start in 2024, will complete the construction of the city. Parks, stadiums, universities, hotels, everything. Within 10 years, Acon City will be completed and running exclusively on Acoin. It will be able to house a population of 500,000 once finished. KE International also said Acon City will be certified leadership in energy and environmental design, which is the North American standardization for high-quality, environmentally friendly buildings. But right now, as of 2020, it's just an empty 2,000-acre plot of land, two hours away from Dakar. As fantastic as it sounds, Acon City is not without its problems. There have been discussions on who this city is really for. It was meant to be a job generator for the locals, but no one from Akon's team could lay out a plan for how exactly locals would benefit from the city. As of now, it seems the more elite local Senegalese will be living there before the middle classes, and just 30% of the housing will be affordable to the lower half of the wage market. More likely, the initial residents will be business owners, Europeans looking for a vacation spot, and Akon himself. 
But Akon has made it clear that he wants the city to be a haven for the Senegalese people and an alternative home for African Americans facing discrimination in the States. He wants people going through difficulty in America, Europe, and other places in the world to look at Akon City and see a home where they are welcome. Well, that's it on Akon's $6 billion city. Do you think you'll move there when it's complete? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you will love the other content we have, so check out our channel after this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.